Hey guys, so today we are gonna talk about how to grow one of my favorite herbs on the planet, rosemary. Rosemary is one of the easiest herbs to grow because it's so forgiving. And part of the reason why it is so forgiving is because it's very drought tolerant. So here in Southern California, it does very well because we get such hot summers that it really is just perfectly happy here. So as you can see, it's quite a happy looking hedge, but it didn't always look like this. In fact, the way that it started out was something like this. So I planted three of these plants just right along here, giving them enough space to actually spread out. And now, five years later, look what we have here. It's a beautiful hedge. Another nice thing about rosemary is that you can actually also grow it in pots. Most herbs are pretty happy in pots as well. So you don't need to have a big space with a big hedge to actually enjoy rosemary. In fact, if I wanted to, I could take this little pot, put it in a sunny space, and it would be perfectly happy. And see, this would give you enough rosemary to cook really anything you need. What I love about rosemary is the fact that it can just last year after year. I don't have to keep planting it. It's known as what's called a perennial, so it'll just keep coming back. But if you live in a part of the world where it gets very cold in the winter, then you probably will have to replant it every year. Now, caring for rosemary is so low maintenance because it's such an easy herb to grow, but you do need to fertilize it. I fertilize it just with regular vegetable fertilizer, an organic fertilizer, and I will probably every spring and maybe in the middle of the summer, just give it a few shakes in the ground and kind of rub it in. And really, that's all it needs. The other thing that I like about it, it's a little early now, but I think there's one blossom that's appearing over there. It does flower. So it does produce these really beautiful, almost periwinkle blue flowers, which I love to snip off and garnish either a cheese tray with or put it aside a appetizer. So when it comes time to harvest your rosemary, all you have to do is take out your scissors and clip away. And what's nice is rosemary is pretty hardy and it will last for a bit inside. What I typically do because it is so hardy is I won't even put it in the fridge. I'll just clip off what I think I need for the next couple of days and then I'll just put it in a little cup of water. Just like that. So then when I'm cooking and I need rosemary, it's just to reach away and then I can just sort of cut off a little sprig and put it in whatever I'm cooking. And then another thing that I will do with some of this fresh rosemary, because there is a lot of it, <laughs> I come up with a lot of uses, is that I'll use it also on little place cards. Usually I just will use these little gift tags, to be honest. And then I will put it down and people's names will appear right here. And it's just a beautiful scented uh, herb that people enjoy as they sit down to the table. So once your rosemary is thriving and growing, you're gonna need a great recipe, and I've got just the thing for you. My hearty potato rosemary soup. It is delicious, it is easy, and all vegetarian, so perfect for any of you vegetarians out there. So follow me to the outdoor kitchen, and I will show you how to make it. Just survival.